very good uh, morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world watching another edition of Lynch's Something for the Weekend. Still here, still badgering on. Thank you very, very much for all the kind words and uh, best wishes in the last video. What a lovely bunch you are. And um, yes, yeah, so uh, I thought we'd have a wander around the shop because I haven't wandered around for a while. Standing in one of our stores. I'm not going to go through all the stock because there's miles and miles of it and you have seen it all before. Um, but uh, this didn't used to be like this when I first uh, when we first moved in about eight years ago. That wall wasn't there for a start off. We put the wall up because I wanted to make this nice and secure, which it is. In fact, you can have a go at that with a uh, great big hammer on a long stick and it will just bounce off. It's a really super high density uh, block. Um, so let's have a walk around and see the lads um, throughout the store. Um, we were very, very busy this morning, I'm pleased to say. Henry's trying to knock the batch in or anything. I think we'll actually, um, yeah, we'll go this way. Go into the sales uh, area. Where they're all beavering away quietly. It's um, late in the afternoon. Be going home soon. I can wander in and out when I like now. It's nice, isn't it? Especially uh, after things that have happened in the last month. Um, you've seen the showroom, don't need to tell you that of course we're open every day, six days a week and in fact um, five minutes walk plus about seven minutes from the station. I'm not allowed to drive yet for another week, hopefully I get the all clear. Oh yeah, just mention these, these wee beasts, don't normally sell stuff like this but Sanjin have been around for years and we're doing these. I can't believe the audio quality out of this little thing. 50% off, 99 quid. I'm going to say batteries in. It's quite heavy actually. Not that I meant to lift anything in of any weight of any description. But um, they're in stock. It's ruggedized. It's meant for builders and things. But if you want um, audio in your garage or out in the garden, totally recommend one of those. Lots of second-hand gear for you to look at. Of course, which I'm not going to go through now. Tony may do a uh, second-hand video on Thursday or Friday. Um, but um, always lots of second-hand gear. And six days a week. So that means if you are sitting around on Saturday doing nothing, or indeed in the week, just get in the car. Like this morning, really should have got the cameras out this morning just to see how many people get in here. And because it's such a big space, they're not all tripping into each other. Right, so let's wander upstairs. Our faulty finds is diminishing complete with garden <laughs> garden furniture, I noticed. In fact, if you make an offer on that garden table, you probably take that away as well. Just to remind people, you can't mail order any of this, so you have to physically come along to store. I'm very sorry if you live up the other end of the country or in Sweden or Germany or France, but you physically have to come along. Sold one of these, I noticed. Still got some Avos. The original ones, the Bakelite fronted ones and the later ones 50 quid now Christ. you couldn't get a, a meter of that accuracy for 50 pounds um eddystone's still here and i see i think it was a canadian fellow american fellow that made a comment on youtube no he emailed me in and said yes he remembers that how it drifts like the cap clappers and the front ends like a barn door is dead right anyway follow me upstairs which is part of my workout because i meant to do walks every day to uh, get the old heart banging away again. Um, stocks everywhere. Been selling Hustler since the 70s. What is that amateur radio exchange? And we're still selling Hustler now. Just wish Hustler, hush, Hustler, just wish Hustler would pull their finger out and um, put the walk bands on it. But they don't, but we still sell them because they're great value. Just get in here. Come into the uh, yet more storage. Um, sorry I'm a bit out of breath, all part of the repair process for me. FTDX 10s, you saw them all in their outer cartons um, last week. There they are, some of them back on the shelves. Got great deals on those at the moment, so 
Um, don't forget, if you're looking for a, a good HF and six meter radio, that's the thing to look at. Lots of ICOM kit, as you can see, 7300s. ACOM's made their way up here. Most of what came in last week has gone out. IC 9700s, IC 7610s, 7300s again. We sell um, masses, and, and 7300s of course, we sell masses of ICOM kit. Biggest ICOM dealer in the UK. Expert, got Expert in of course. A couple of 1.3 uh, FKAs left with tuners built in. And then we're walking into the workshop with of course the lovely ladies on the left hand side there beavering away, sorting our accounts out. If you, if you swivel around there, there's a few of them. There's normally three or four of them in there, but again, it's late in the day. Repairs and used equipment. So we're always on the lookout for used. Don't forget if you've got that piece of kit sitting there and thinking, I need to turn that into a few quid. Give Tony a ring downstairs and he'll price it up over the phone. Get it collected if you've got the original box. Not so easy if you haven't, or better still just drop it in. Uh, but this is usually a wait in testing. Um, once it's been tested, it then gets collected by the sales staff downstairs. They'll clean it, book it in, and uh, it appears on the website. So workshop. Just to prove we do have a workshop, you'd be surprised how many companies don't and they farm out their um, workshop to uh, third parties uh, and we do have a workshop. Not only do we have a workshop, we have staff in our workshop. So if you are waiting for a piece of kit that you've had, it's got an annoying fault, give any of the guys a call here or give uh, email rather the workshop uh, and tell them what you need, workshop at hamradio.co.uk, what the fault is, they'll come back to you. If you've got the original box, we can collect it, probably cheaper than you can send it in. Or again, just pop along six days a week and drop it in. So these are the guys that, there's actually one short, we have another one sitting in the corner there. These are the guys that uh, repair your kit um, six days a week. All five days a week mainly, but there's usually one of them uh, in on a Saturday. So um, that extends round. It's a fair old size. Again, we built this up. That wall wasn't there originally when we first moved in. So I moved all the panels around, but I say moved in. It's, it is, it must be is it eight or nine years. I've lost track of how long we've been here. So let them get on. A couple of ACOMs here to get out. Apparently Steve has just been told. Sorry? couple of acoms that just come in that got to go out I'm yes, told. Know, told he knows it, so. see he's already psychic I haven't even told him he knows That's about it well, yeah, right. it's amazing uh, do you like his hair by the way have you seen Steve's hair look isn't he beautiful last okay. time I saw him he looked like the wild man of Borneo yeah. and then he actually <laughs> now look at him look it's very suave isn't he anyway <laughs> hey? he's been on his bike this morning has so he been on his motorbike have you yeah. oh dearie me so yeah, almost certainly will do, it guarantees it'll rain. So that's a quick walk around the uh, company. Um, not a lot's changed since we first moved in. A lot more stock, these racks weren't here for example. Mainly antennas, because they are a real pain actually looking at uh, storing antennas. They take a lot of room up. And um, so we just literally line them all sideways and vertically if we can get away with it and lots of component backup and support over there as well. Uh, more second-hand gear that's um, been checked and waiting to go downstairs. And we've even got some oldies here. Look, look at this. Who remembers the FT200? One of the first radios, HF radios I purchased in that, oh, in that color, gray. They used to do a gray and a black one. And the, the transmit quality was good. And then, of course, I ended up with a uh, FT101ZD, which I do believe has been put aside for me because that's in, in nice nick. And with the FT200, no top band, which is why I very quickly went to a 101 because 160 metres is my favourite radio. And indeed, the only reason I got a G4. Um, lift, we've still got. We had to put that in because of the workshop upstairs. We do use it. Um, I think that's it really, not a lot else to report um, today, but I hope you've enjoyed a, a quick walk, walk around the company. Thanks for tuning in yet again. 
All the best to Brenda, who's still nursing a broken hip, poor lady. Um, all our wishes, best wishes, and you can see lots of people have uh, wish you the best. Hopefully you're out of hospital now, you should be. That's it from me. All the best. Look forward to seeing you next week. And keep sending your trade-ins to us. And thank you very, very much for all the support, as always. See you next week. Bye-bye.